Hello, welcome back to Let's Play um, Octopath Traveler. Now, granted, some of this is looking it up, but it's also things we have encountered. Um, the tilting at windmills thing. One person was saying the guy who owns the windmills here can be found in a town big enough to is a coward, and he can be found in a town big enough to have an alehouse. But we also know there's a guy in Atlas Dam. Where is Atlas Dam? That wants to introduce people to his new. Um, where is he? Let's find Dan. I'm sure he'll find a new one soon enough. Where is the guy that wants to introduce people to his new windmill? Is this you? This is you. Yeah. Designed a new model windmill, not to boast, but it's far more efficient than the ones we already have. Alas, for some reason, nobody's willing to give it a try. Save these people a fortune, but everyone's stuck in their old ways. If only I could find my first customer, I'm sure my luck would change. Allure. <laughs> a minute now, wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? Hmm. This is an excellent way to promote oneself. How would you like to come work for me? <laughs> come. Yeah, pray come hither. I love the fact she says, pray come hither, and she's being a cleric right now. Okay, so, that in mind. I like doing it this way. The other way is we could go to Brian and convince him. You're a, you're a terrible person by challenging him, but I like doing it this way, because innovation. Oh, excuse me, but might it be that you've been unable to use the mills and experience him some trouble? Well, yes, actually. I have. The owner suddenly raised the fee on the mills. Then please use my windmill. I went to all the trouble to make it, but no one has even given it a try. I'm only charging the bare minimum. I'll let even I'll even help you transport your wheat. Well, that sounds quite wonderful. I suppose I'll take you up in your offer then. I know I'm not the only one who's been stuck with their crop piling up and no way to mill it. I'll tell the others too. That would be a great boon to me. Don't worry, you won't regret you trying my will. I mean, he is quite a distance away. The, he might lose out on the you get 22,000. Okay. So they are having troubles with people ransacking their supplies. Hmm. We'll come back to that later. I should have looked at that one. Noble Court? We haven't been in yet. Let's see if there's anything new in Noble Court. There is indeed something new in Noble Court. Anything to steal the worthwhile? Nah. Or buy? Water? Water me a flower in my day, and I can tell you this, flowers welcome any water. But they're particularly partial to water drawn from the very land where they grow. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's... These people are... These are people I've done all the, uh... There are two. Oh, hello. Have I already fought you? Sure, this so, won't take long. A battle. So, fair and square to arms. Sorry, but if you think you can get by me, you've got another thing coming. I didn't check for people in front of doors, did I? Oh no. Oh, I should try a different weapon. Well, that was. I didn't even find what he was vulnerable to. Fight and fight, that was. You have my thanks. Hmm. Are you a thief or something? Please try to behave yourself here. A scholar of military history and stratagems, who is extremely protective of his work. He refuses to leave his home unless absolutely necessary. That Naturally, that means he has no students to whom he can pass on his wisdom. 
Okay, steel. Mysterious seed. <laughs> ha! Huh. Wait, 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 let's look at our, our journal and our side stories. don't seem to have anything going on. Is it here? It is here. This scholar who, together with Barham, is researching how to use the Dragon Stones for magic. Though the two continue to fight endlessly, as they did in their youth, they're tacitly, they tacitly recognize the other skill. Researcher who lives on the outskirts of Noble Court in Ramshackle House, where he devotes himself to solitary research. Man of precision, he is respected by his peers for his methodical, methodological approach, though some take issue with other aspects of his character. This is interesting. Let's talk to you. Yo! Ahoy there, missed us like a landlocked sailor misses the sea, didn't ye? Mick and Mac? We be here on official business. Got a delivery for you from the captain. <coughs> Urgh. Took you long enough, didn't it? Ah! Oh, ain't no controlling the tides now, is there? Mm. <laughs> Research is a battlefield, and in it we scholars are constantly fighting to conquer more territory. I request the materials that I need for my research from you to aid me in this war, but it seems you fail to realize the urgency of the matter. I don't believe I'll be requiring the services of your trading company ever again. What? <laughs> yanking me chain, ain't you, matey? Chain? If it had only been a matter of functionality, that would have been one thing. But no, why don't you go ask that captain of yours for the reason? Nani? You got a problem with the captain now. Mm. Indeed, that brute Leon. We know all about him. Coming around with that fearsome look on his face and demanding that innocent civilians hand over their money. <laughs> Quit your filthy lies. <laughs> if you dare deny him, he runs you right through with his great poleaxe to think we were doing business with such a villain. No, no, no. Villain! You take that back, ye salty sea slugs. <laughs> Everyone's heard the news by now. Captain Leon gave up a merchant tree and returned to his old pirating ways. <laughs> Captain would never. That's right, he told us he changed his ways. Oh, no, Make all the excuses you want. It doesn't change the fact that we won't be asking for your, your company for so much as another pebble. <laughs> we don't have to take this kind of abuse from the likes of you. Bunch of bookish buffoons who ain't never done a day of real work in your lives. <laughs> well, what was that? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not refusing to give us your business, we're refusing to take your business. Our pebbles are too good for ye anyway. Hmm. Good then. <laughs> yeah, good then. Make and Mac make good? <laughs> Just remembering what those two mud-sucking mollusks said ties me innards and knots. Here we come out our way to bring them the things they want and that's how they treat us? We don't need the custom of crab buckets like that. <laughs> what were those two book brains going on about anyway? The captain would never do a thing like that. Just wondering about it won't get us nowhere. Soothing dust. Oh no, really. See, ruffians belittling hardworking scholars like us. This is why I never trust others. <laughs> Won't be fooled, I know the truth. And the truth is that Leon's back to stealing money from the innocent. Unless my eyes were deceiving me, that man was surely the infamous Captain Leon. <laughs> okay. Yep, we, we got you already. Uh huh. <clears throat> Bought a notebook off Charlie Merchant, but it looks like someone's already written it. Wonder if it was someone's diary. Lori's diary. Okay, we already did that. Don't want to. 
heal from you. Yeah. A soul knife for of awakening. Wait a minute. Yar, we strong take from the weak. That's the way of the world, says I. The dread pirate, Liam Bastral. Bwahaha, eh? Why are you looking at me cockeyed? I'll have your guts for God as I will. Arigatona. What do you have to steal? Spear and a shield. Challenge? Leon Bestral question mark? I challenge you to a test of strength and skill. You got some nerve to face a pirate of me caliber, you swashbuckler. You ought to accept as long as you got some coin in your purse. So, he doesn't even talk like you Leon. Uh, we'll try that. Speed enhancement. Okay, he goes first. He does minimal damage. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, not that either. Ah, axe. There we go. Oh. Okay. Cool. That didn't take long. Should have done this with Tressa. <coughs> that's the one. Yes, that's him, all right, the filthy thief. Nani? Captain, say it ain't so. <laughs> well, we all saw. We sw all swore we'd gone over to the straight and narrow. Eh? Hello? <laughs> this gollywog's a right fraud! <coughs> what do you mean by that? <coughs> he doesn't look an awful lot like the captain, I give you that, but he can't fool us that easy. Why? You rotten rogue. You've been calling yourself Captain Leon, stealing off good folk, is that it? What do you mean? I'm the one! The only... The Captain Pirate Captain Leon Bastral. Oi! You don't know, do you? Captain Leon's pirating days are over. <laughs> if you got to impersonate someone, at least do your damn research. I, I never knew that. Yes! I don't know that he would have cared. Well, I feel light as a breeze now that's cleared up. Ah. Got that right? Makes me blood boil seeing someone sullying the Captain's good name like that. I'm sorry, you two. It seems that we were mistaken. <sighs> yes, quite thoroughly. Yeah. Eh, water under the bridge. Never did like apologies, giving them or taking them. Ah. That's right, it's that sorry sea snakes who's to blame here. We'd be happy to help you, Swats, with procuring your crystals in the future. <laughs> and we would be happy to request the services of you bunch of crusty sea dogs. Thanks to you as well, friend. <laughs> yeah, you are a true aid to us. Trusty as the North Star. Really should have done that with Tress in the party. Mick and Max Shield. Elemental defense goes down a little bit. The other things go way up. Oh, everything goes up. Taking this, taking this. <laughs> Definitely not Leon. I, I'm sorry, really, very sorry. You were killing people, apparently. I only started acting and dressing like Captain Leon because he was my hero. I don't know where I went wrong. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Anybody else here that is a... story in the make... that story that we can get done? Or 
any uh, hidden things. Wait, who are you? The Impaler. Not, no fan of daggers, axes, or staves is he. Being the slender type, he hates the cold. And a stiff breeze could knock him over good. Daggers, axes, or staves. Okay. Arigato na. Hmm. Taking, uh, taking my time for a while. Maybe work as mercenary. Sure, why not? Fear my lance. Daggers, axes, and staves. All foes. All foes. Okay. So there's no reason really to do anything. Cool. Patience! Sure, why not? Fine, fine, that was. You have my thanks. Weathered boots, scraps of rope. Okay. Ah, uh, we're not going to go in there. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh. Did you know that rich folk throw out all sorts of things and they still have plenty of use in them? They may call it rubbish, but still plenty good to me. This, I believe, is not open. Hmm. First of all, licked in bottom. Those colors are a stubborn lot, aren't they? Okay, what about over here? Anything to sell? Mysterious seed. There's a kitty. Yep, yeah, looks like we've gotten everything here. Well, that's not where we want to be. Up, oh, the thumb cover on my uh, stick is starting to wear out. Dog. Okay, uh, still snow. We can go to still snow. And hey, there are people here. We found that guy that has, like, a military background. Choir first. After the fall of the noble family she served some years ago, she was coerced into moving to still snow. She was released from her job at the brothel, and now looks for a new line of work. Arigato na. Ah! This is Primrose's old friend. <sighs> what am I to do with my life now, I wonder? I have my freedom now. No longer am I bound to sell my body to pay my way in the world. But no matter who I ask, I've found no decent work. <gasps> the world is a cold place when one is alone. And this place is colder than any other. I'm sick of it. Mm. Now that I think of it, I've been tumbling from job one job to the next ever since I left the Azel Hearts employment. Everywhere I work, all I found were cold hearts and miserable work. <sighs> is there any warm place left in this world? Some warm hearted master would let me do decent work once again. Such dreams are too grand for a tired old whore. I used the word. I did not want to use the word. Ariana again. One? Warm place. Let's <laughs> admit it. Wouldn't you care to spend some primrose, my dear? You dance ever so beautifully. Pray come hither. Okay. I have a suspicion 
Not Marcelum. We could bring you to the king. That might be one. Could bring you to the tavern keeper. Let's bring you to the king. Let's see if this works. I don't know that it will, because we did already solve something by bringing somebody to the king. Are you king? Are you a King Cashew reference, by the way? Yokuki. So we've. Nope. Okay. So not that. It's not King. It's not Cash. Yokuki. Kalim. Okay. So it's not. I mean, I do still wonder because when is Japan? Re Record of Lotus War is kind of a touchstone. Or is it just, you know, consistent uh, thing that it's like some way two people just basically had the idea, let's do a, uh, we'll come back to you in a little bit. You're also Tressa's friend. Ah, travel banter. Ah, now that's the best drink I've had in a long time. You said the same thing last time, too. I did? Well, I'm speaking the truth. Here, have a taste of that. Hmm, not bad. You boys look like you're having fun. Ah, oh, Primrose, pull up a seat and join us. I'd be delighted. Do you want me to pour you more? That'd be grand. We've got lots to talk about, after all. Not bad at all. Aha, nice chat. That sounds perfect. Potent potables. Oh, they dozed off. I suppose they were tired. Ah, they look so cute snoozing away like that. Okay. Where's... are you... <laughs> oh, I can serve my customers without a worry. It's such a relief. Okay. What can I do for you? Okay. Where's the master? Mm -hmm. How about this tavern? Managing it isn't easy, but it's worth the effort to see the smiles on my customers' faces. So not you. Maybe Wellspring? Maybe I should collect? There's no end to our problems. Boosting the title, most that have Blazing Blade. He was once the strongest, most skilled knights of Hornburg, but he has parted with the sword given him by the king. He considers the armor he wears a tried and true friend to him. Arigato, na. Can I get back there? Ah. Depends on his guards to keep them. Okay. Can I get back? It's hireling Captain Bale. Maybe there's more people in the other places that I could have talked to. Guard serves on Captain Bale, diligent man who follows rules to the letter. His contributions are valued by all. He has a habit of taking on too many responsibilities at once, which has led him to develop ulcers from stress. Arigato, na. New treasure is hidden somewhere. Oops. Yeah. Oh, so we meet again. Well, well met indeed. Captain, please, this is no time for talking. <coughs> God's teeth, man. Would you insist that I don't even greet a former comrade? There's still such a thing as common decency. I'm very sorry, but the captain is a frightfully busy man. But we are nearing the changing of the gods. If you wait a little while, there should be more time to speak soon. Okay. Well... I am going to leave this here and find a place to save. And, uh, oh, there's a hidden item. And I think the save point is down this way. Yeah, I find the actual stairs. And we're going to go down here. Okay, talk to the 
talk to you later. Bye.